everyone's joining and today I'm going to be talking about some of my book recommendations to read on how during Halloween. So I did this video three years ago which I'll link up above or down below so you guys can check it out and I thought I'd do it again and I have a lot more books that fit for spooky season or just books that I think will fit for during a Halloween season so let's get to the um, books that I think you guys should read for Halloween. So the first book that I'm recommending you for to read for the Halloween season is Horrid by Katrina Leno. This is about a girl whose father just died and she and her mother is moving back into her mo mother's hometown and and she's and our main character Jane is trying to figure out why her mom left her first her hometown in the first place and and what happened and I re I read this last year and I really enjoyed it and it was and it literally almost kept me up just because I wanted to know what happened so it definitely I didn't expect this uh, to be a horror novel by read it, uh, like as a mystery because there's a lot of mystery elements to it in horror books and I really enjoy it and I think many people should read it plus I haven't heard many people talk about this on booktube and I think it's a perfect fit for the Halloween season. Next book that I'm recommending for on the Halloween season is this Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, which is about a witch who is a, a librarian and she's guarding this book and then she meets this vampire who's trying to take the book from her and the whole story goes from there. I love this book so much. I know this recently turned into a TV show so I definitely want to give it a try and I really love this book and I definitely want to continue on with the series because I want to know what happens to Diana and I forgot the vampires name for a second there Matthew so I and I also really liked the characters a lot and I like the the world in this book and I def like I said I do want to continue on with the series and it's definitely a perfect foot for um this season especially when it involves which is a vampires you is um all your twisted secrets by Diana Diana Urban. This is a, a mystery book that's like The Breakfast Club but with a mystery um, or mystery twist to it which is about a group of students that were having a scholarship dinner and they have to choose which one and there's a bomb in the room and they have to choose which one's gonna die or they all die and I just I also read this last year and I think it, all, many mystery books fit for this, um, the Halloween season so I definitely think this would be perfect for that and I and it's one of my favorite books of last year and I and I can't wait to read her new book that's coming out next year and it's definitely what sounds like a mystery book as well and I think this would definitely be perfect to read uh, during this season as well especially when it involves with mystery and the next book that I recommend to you guys that actually read this recently and I think this will be perfect for the fall season or the Halloween season in general is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson which is about a girl who was doing a school project on a murder that happened five years ago but she's trying to prove that on who's the real murder which sounds it, it's really awesome. I love this book so much I can't wait to read the second book and I think the third book is coming out too so this is definitely a book that you definitely should read this season just because I think like I said I think a lot of mysteries fit for the Halloween season because there's a um, it's always mysterious and I just really love the characters in here and I ju just love the plot of the story in general and it's just definitely perfect for that. <laughs> the next book that I'm recommending to you guys is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab which is about a girl who's uh, whose parents are ghost hunters and her best friend is a ghost and they visit Scotland to go one of the high places there and then she meets a, a new friend and the whole story goes from there. I love this series so much. I just finished Tunnel of Bones like a few days ago actually and I just, and the day I'm filming this and I just love this series so much. I love Cassidy, I love Jacob and I just love all the other characters in the series. I can't wait to read um, Bridges of Souls which is the third book in the series and who wouldn't want to read a book about ghosts around Halloween and this is definitely is perfect for that and this cover also speaks that as well and I just think it's a very perfect book to read during the Halloween season because I've read these two books the last two Octobers in a row and hopefully I'll read 
bridges up, sills up. This one, but again, it, this is definitely perfect for the Halloween season. <laughs> the next book that I'm recommending to you guys is Serpent and Dove by uh, Shelby Mahurin, which is about um, a witch and a witch hunter gay married on an arranged marriage, but the witch hunter does not know that that his wife, new wife, is a witch. And I love this book so much that I definitely want to read on the the rest of the series just because I love the character so much and I love this I love the world that is in it and I definitely think um, any books about witches in it will be perfect for the Halloween seasons I mean who wouldn't want it if anybody's a fan of romances I definitely would recommend this one just because it's definitely one of the ones that I love about this book and especially when it's just about witches and in general and it's definitely Definitely a perfect book if you're looking for a witchy book. The next book that I'm recommending to you guys is The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones. This is about a group of um, ca characters who are grave diggers and then they have these creatures that are called Bone Houses that are like zombie-like creatures and ever since their parents died and they're trying to figure out the uh, the mystery of the Matt Makers, this I read this like a few months ago and I was trying to remember it, but I really enjoyed it. I think it's definitely perfect when you, you expect, like, there's a, I don't re usually read books about zombies, but since they call these creature, um, the, the zombies in here, bone houses, I was like, it kind of makes me feel better a bit, but it was definitely a unique story that is perfect for the spooky season. It, and if you're looking for books that has zombies in it, but you're not a fan of zombies, but you're still like, like different terms for them, I definitely recommend um, Bone Houses, especially like like I said, this is definitely another one that's perfect for Halloween season. I mean, the cover to, uh, wouldn't have said so, but it's uh, still it's definitely a really good book to read during the Halloween season. The next book that I'm recommending to you guys is Frozen Beauty by Alexa Highlayer. This is a um, a mystery book about two sisters that are trying to solve the mystery of her. Uh, their sister's murder and the boy next door gets um, blamed for the murder and they're trying to find the real killer of their sister. I really enjoyed this book. This is definitely a mystery book that you probably want to go into uh, blind just because it's something like other than knowing that the sisters are trying to find a real killer and trying to prove that the boy next door is innocent. It's definitely one of the books that you're like you didn't see the plot twist um, coming. I mean, I did when I read this and I, and I, like I mentioned a few times in this video, I think there's a lot of mystery books that are just perfect to read during the Halloween season. And this is definitely one of the ones that I think people should read, especially when there hasn't been a lot of people talking about it on booktube and I'm one of the ones that really enjoy it. But yeah, if you're looking for a book that has sisterhood or um, a murder mystery, I definitely will recommend Frozen Beauty. <laughs> And the next book that I'm recommending to you guys for the Halloween season is House of Sun Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. This is a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling that's told by um, one of the main characters whose sister's been um, keeps dying and they're trying to figure out what was the cause of death of their sisters and, and then there's more that ends up getting killed. And I really enjoyed this book. I definitely love the mer mysteries elements to it, even though it's a 12 Dancing Princesses. I just really love how um, the author and murder mystery to it, and you're trying to figure out who's ending up killing the, the 12 Dancing Princesses, to, to be honest. And I really think it's definitely fit for the spooky season, especially when there's a, um, a dark fantasy with a murder mystery uh, twist to it. And the last book that I'm recommending to you guys to read during the Halloween season is um, and then. There were none by Agatha Christie. I think any Agatha Christie books will definitely fit for the Halloween season. Even though, and especially when you're looking for a short read, this is definitely one of them. And I don't have much to say to it other than as a mystery. I like going to Agatha Christie, Agatha Christie books blind just because they're mystery books. And I'm always like, I'm one of those readers that are like, what's the point of knowing what's it about when it's a mystery? And I always go on, like I said, I always go into them blind. I also do recommend... Miranda Orient Express, which is one of her popular books, and this is one of the popular ones as well. And I think you can re should read any of the Christie books.
books for the Halloween season. So that's all for my Halloween book recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what books you would recommend me to read for Halloween. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I ever post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!